We're learning a little bit more about that custody battle and history between a mother accused of stabbing her own children and their father. Erica Ferrando has the latest on this case joining me now in studio and Erica. It sounds like the mother um, has some issues with the law before. That's right, Cherise. Court records show Janae Pedesclaw pled guilty to property damage this April, the same month the children's father filed a petition seeking sole custody. Pedesclaw is accused of stabbing her four-year-old daughter and two-year-old boy Sunday, then FaceTiming their father, Jermaine Roberts, who saw their slit throats and rushed over to the house. The daughter died in the hospital and the son is still hospitalized. As of yesterday, he was in critical but stable condition. But here's what we learned today through court records. In May 2021, Pedesclaw damaged Robert's girlfriend's car. It had scratched paint and the windshield was broken. Then this April, nearly a year after that incident, she pled guilty to the crime and the judge issued a restraining order against Pedesclaw to keep her from Robert's girlfriend. Now, Pedesclaw would need a police escort to pick up her children. Also, this this April, Roberts filed a petition for full custody, claiming Pedesclaw wouldn't let him see the kids because he was in a relationship. A judge issued a mediation order, meaning the parents were supposed to attend three sessions to try and come in come to a resolution to establish a parenting plan on their own. Now they were asked to complete that before a court hearing on the custody battle, which was set for next week. Pedesclaw will have her next court appearance in the killing of her daughter and attempted killing of her son tomorrow. We'll stay uh, on top of that, Erica. Thank you so much.